Good morning, kind people of the internet. Welcome back to the vlog. It is a little chilly in Indianapolis today, hence the hat and sweatshirt. And I'm outside in my studio space, um, which is separate from my house. Um, and I do actually have a heating and cooling unit in here, um, up here on the wall, as you can see. And uh, this thing actually works really well, although I've had it turned off for the past week or so because it was really nice here. I'm really lucky because where I live, there's this really cool park um, really close by and I can just walk out there and just beyond the park, if I keep going a ways and follow the road just a little bit further, I get to this trail where I can jog and most of the time it's usually pretty empty, especially during the weekdays. So I like to go out there and go for runs and I can go north or south on the trail and I can just go out and find a lot of open space to run, not have to worry about traffic or stoplights too much. Um, just the occasional dog that gets really excited um, when I'm the only person he sees during the day. So I'll go out there and go exploring and this past week I actually went uh, a little bit different direction since there was a detour through the trail there doing some construction and I went to this new neighborhood and actually found this interesting bird sanctuary I didn't even realize was there before. So that was kind of cool. And there are a few nice bridges and waterways that I get a sort of visit as well when I'm going down south. And same thing if I go up north, um, a lot of wooded areas and some cool architecture and then some more waterways as well. There's also an art center up if I go north on the trail, so it's kind of fun to go exploring through there to see if they've put any new artwork at least outside. And then I can go check out the other neighborhoods in that area, kind of walk around, and uh, it's nice I can mix in walking and running together. And then this past week, Emily's been doing a lot of cooking, and I'm sort of the sous chef where I will help out if she allows me to. But she's been using this extra quarantine time to come up with a lot of delicious dishes. So my main job has been taste tester. So this week I've been reading this, which is a publication called Music and Literature. And this is their eighth release. And for each one they do sort of a profile on three or four different artists. So with this one, they include an author, a composer, and then a saxophone player. And if you go to their website, um, you can actually find excerpts of each release. And I discovered this one, I guess, when I was just looking up the saxophone player, Mark Turner, who they cover in this one. And I was reading about it, and I they had a thing like, if you read, if you wanna read more, you can go ahead and purchase the physical copy. So that's what I did. And I got this from their site, and the whole last third of this from about here on is devoted to Mark Turner. So it's very well put together, um, very well organized, and very thoroughly researched. So they start out with a discography about Mark, and then they do a very thorough interview. And then after that, they do profiles from people that have worked with Mark or studied with Mark. And all those people write three or four pages just on their experience about Mark, what they think of him, what they've learned from him. And it's very cool. Um, and I'm interested to check out more of them. And I think they sort of tend to cover people that they feel like are a little bit out of the spotlight, but are still um, worthy and, and in need of this sort of recognition that they're maybe not getting because they don't put themselves out there quite as much. I definitely think about that in terms of Mark Turner. He's somebody who does essentially zero publicity for himself, but his work is amazing. So he's definitely focused on the art of it um, rather than the publicity side of things. This week I also had the pleasure of playing on a track sent to me by a friend, Carrington Clinton. He emailed me this track and just asked me to play on it a little bit, so I wanted to share a clip of that. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.
Yeah, we can leave it set up. How do you feel that first game went? I mean, I threw it about five moves in. Five moves in, you threw it? Yeah. Why? Because I didn't want to play anymore because I was losing. <laughs> <laughs> I think all social media allows for the coveted double chin look. 